Celapi, da. Celapi. Celapi. Ok, uh, celapi. Uh, with the uh, kaimak cheese. Uh... Welcome to Belgrade, the city that I will be living in for the next few months. In today's video, I will be taking you guys around the city with my friend Tiana to teach you a little bit about some of the monuments and historical sites here in Belgrade. Once we get done walking around the city, we'll enjoy a nice traditional Serbian meal and I'll have myself my first shivapi. Welcome to Belgrade. Welcome to another beautiful day here in Belgrade. Right now I'm currently sitting outside of a place called Submarine Original. And it looks like a burger restaurant. They got all kinds of different burgers. Original, smokehouse, Italian, French, all kinds of things. Now, I'm actually kicking off today with some lunch. I'm gonna be ordering myself a burger from this restaurant. Then I'm gonna be meeting up with another local who actually watches my videos here. Her name is Tijana and she's actually meeting me up at the same fountain where I met Dushan up a few days ago. So I'm gonna eat my lunch, hopefully it's amazing, then I'm gonna head over there and see what she has planned. She said she put together a whole itinerary, she wants to show me around her city, and I'm all about it. Yo, look at this thing. It's massive. She tried to sell me a double patty as well. Glad I didn't do that. Now I also got some fries. I don't even know how to start with this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it because there's no way I'm putting all of that in my mouth right now. Yo, that, you guys see all the, the juices coming out of that? Probably not, but. Whew. Yo, it, it don't matter what you order here in Serbia. It doesn't matter if it's Serbian food or another type of cuisine from around the world, they get down on everything. Everything is so good. And this city is like such a, it's such a trendy city that you can pretty much find any cuisine that you like here. It's crazy. Yeah, highly approved. I don't know what kind of sauce is in there. It's almost like a barbecue ketchup mix. Super sweet, so fire. I'm gonna finish this meal. I'm gonna go meet up with Tijana. I finally met up with Tiana, so it's actually pronounced Tiana, not Tijana. She actually told me that the J makes a Y sound. Yeah. Right? The Y. Yeah. So her name is Tiana. So you were you born and raised here in Belgrade? Uh, yes, I was born here. Uh, first two years of my life I was living in Vintra, that is a couple kilometers away from Belgrade. So where's the first spot? Where are we heading to right uh, now? Square Terazia. Square Terazia. You can recognize it by Fountain and Hotel Moscow. That's Hotel Moscow. Wow, yes. that's beautiful. It was built in time of uh, artistic age, uh, Secesi, I think. Secesi. Secesi? Okay. Secesi on something like that. I cannot pronounce it in English. <laughs> well, this was built uh, in around 1840s, on the time when uh, uh, Milos Sobrenovic was on the throne. Who was who was Milos Sobrenovic? He was the oh, leader he, of. He was leader of the country. He was oh, like okay. prince, but. It's not, it doesn't have anything to do with kingdom uh, because it was, in Serbia we say knez. knez. I don't know how you say it in English. I've, I've seen, I've seen the word knez in front of like a lot of the famous it's popular. Knez Mihailova. Yeah, knez, knez Mihailova. Mihailova. Yeah. So knez, what does knez mean? Yeah, well I tried to translate it to English and it says prince. Prince? Oh, yeah. okay. The fountain was built in 1860s. Oh, and that's why the 1860s is on there? Yes. That's so sweet. So this is funny. We're actually about to walk down into this tunnel and I actually walked by this so many times and I thought it was a subway system. There is no subway system. There is oh, no almost subway fell. System. There is no subway system there is here. I mean, no underground one. Yeah, but you guys do have the trams and a lot of buses. Yes, we have a lot of buses. So where did we just make it to right now? Uh, square of Nikola Pasic. Nikola Pasic. Who is, yes. who is that guy? He was... Uh, Former mayor of the um, Kingdom of Serbia. Oh, okay. He was also prime minister of uh, King, uh, Kingdom Serbs, Croatians, and Slovenians. Okay. Uh, and that is him right there. The next stop for today is the new court. Now, it's actually located right next to the old court, yes. but this one's the new one. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm reading right here that this new court was actually intended to house the royal family and was actually completed after World War I. Yeah, 1922. 1922. What's the guy's name that lived in there? King Alexander, Alexander Karadjordjevic. Karadjordjevic. Yes. And um, she actually just told me that the other day I ate a Karadjordjevic schnitzel. Karadjordjevic schnitzel, yes. Yeah, which is crazy. So they, the dish is named after the king. king. <laughs> so we just made it here to Slavia and 
This is crazy. This is, it's, so, it's so hectic behind this yeah. sign right now. This is essentially like a traffic circle. And Tiana's actually telling me that there's seven different exits so and different is, and this is um, actually where all of the like public transportation essentially comes through. And yeah, that's yeah. because this is like the center part of the city, right? Mm, well, yes. That kind of sends you off yeah. in other directions. Yes, on the different part of the cities. That's crazy. It's so, it, yeah, it's wild looking. And we actually right in front of a sign that says Belgrade in Cyrillic. Yes. Now, I was seeing this sign all over the internet and I definitely wanted to come down here. I didn't think that it was, it was right here. So that's pretty cool that you just stumbled across this. We just came walking down this small little street in this beautiful neighborhood. What's this neighborhood called again? Vrachar. Vrachar. And man, it's so beautiful. It kind of reminds me of Dorcho with all the little trees and the small, um, small little streets. But we're just getting our first glance at the Sava Temple and Tiana is actually telling me that this is one of the largest Orthodox church in all of the Balkan region. It's the largest. <laughs> wow. And just this whole area around it is beautiful. Yeah, it's super cool. So we just made it to the front and we can't go in. Yes. <laughs> As always, there's a lot of construction going on right now. Actually, there's about a good 40 workers out there in front. Yes. Just fixing everything, getting everything good to go. Hello. <laughs> and unfortunately, we can't go in, but she's telling me that it's absolutely beautiful. It's so amazing in there. Well, although we're not allowed to enter the Sava temple today, there is another little extremely beautiful temple as well, right next door. However, yes. when you put them into comparison, this thing is just, I've never seen nothing like it. It's incredible. I see a lot of people walking in and out of there as well. <laughs> so this is where we're going to be eating. Biro. Biro, grill, and beer. What should we drink? What's tip? Is there is there a typical drink? <laughs> beer. 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 <laughs> I love it here. Okay, I'll take a beer. I'll take a beer. Why not? Uh, we have a Polander, uh, uh, Weiss beer, and... Uh, Weiss beer. Weiss beer is really, really great. Helen? Uh, yeah, yeah, Helen? Yeah, Helen? We, no. we have Zaitus. Okay. Zaitchos quiz. Okay, I'll take that one. I'll take that one. Zaitchos. 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 It's named after city, Zaitchos. Oh, the red one. Yes. Okay, yes, I like. Okay. That's really exciting. As soon as you sit down and you're like, hey, what's the typical drink? And everyone says beer, you're in the right place, you know? And the restaurant's called Biro. So, if you want some good hospitality, this is definitely where you're gonna pull up to. So, Biro, they got happy hour right now. Oh no, between 1800 and 2000. So yeah. you can buy food and get a beer for free. So yeah. we slight, we're a little bit early for this special, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm in good hands. Yeah. <laughs> Tiana just pointed out that the menu actually has English translations at the bottom of yeah. every Serbian name. So this is really helpful because I'm actually staying in Dorchul and Dorcho is honestly like probably one of the more touristic areas as well, like where you're gonna find yourself as a tourist. But even there, a lot of the menus still don't have an English translation. So the fact that they have one here at Biro is pretty sick. Is the best. Thank you so much. Beer. The best beer in Serbia. In Serbia, yes. Cheers, bro. Thank Cheers. you. Oh man, yeah, that's good. <laughs> oh, especially after all that walking, that's exactly what you need. True. Thank you. Enjoy. So what's the most what's the most popular um, of all your dishes here? Uh, this is uh, you can uh, use kebab. Kebab? Uh, uh, with uh, chelapi. Uh. Chelapi. Chelapi. Okay, uh, chelapi. With, uh, with uh, kaimak cheese. Kaimak. Uh, it's like a uh, cheese product. Okay. Yes, it's really great. Okay. Really, and tasty. And tasty. Really tasty. Yeah. Traditional okay. Serving. Traditional serving, yes. Awesome. And uh, I have uh, one more. Uh, uh, Gurmanska. Gurmanska. He ate that. He tried that. Uh -huh, he tried I loved that. it. Okay. It was so good. Do you, do you eat, the, eat the salad with bread or no? That's just you for the... You can eat it however you want. We don't have rules for eating okay. things. Like... It's great. It's always great. It's great, yeah. 
Yeah. Especially tomatoes. I didn't expect them to be good in October. Oh, true. Because it is October, but the tomatoes yeah. are amazing. Are amazing, and I just love like the tomato cucumber mix. It's mm -hmm. so good. Here goes nothing. Yeah. My first bite of shalapi. Chevlapi. Chevlapi. Yes. <laughs> Oh man, it looks so juicy. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> that's gonna be my that's my that's my favorite. My favorite since I've been here, it's for sure. Good. It's so good. Now it actually comes with this um cheese product that goes well with it obviously yeah. that's why it's on top so i'm gonna try it with some of that and see if it, it gives me a slightly different flavor and that is the best salad Ivar. 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 thank you <laughs> no words it's so good this is the Ivar, and it's essentially yes. like Crushed paprika? Yes. Is it spicy? It could be. Okay. So we won't know until we try it. Yes. Every place makes it different. Yes. Hmm. All right, and so. Every house makes it different. Do you, do you eat it with the shalapi? Or you by itself? It whatever, like however you want. No, I know, but. You can try it first. Without. Okay, okay. I'm gonna put a little bit right here. Yeah. And I'm gonna see how it goes. Now, you guys know me. I don't do well with the spicy. I like spicy, but Let's see sometimes it's a little too spicy. I'll be honest, it's not my favorite thing. Yeah. It's different. It's 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 good. It's different though. It's very different. I've never had nothing like it. I'm gonna try it with the chalapi. Look at that bite. It looks good. <laughs> better. Yeah, better. <laughs> better like that. Yo, this is amazing. Good recommendation. There's not there's not anything that I've had that's Serbian though that I haven't liked. I mean, I said that wrong. That I didn't like. Every every cuisine, everything I've ate here in this country so far is so good. I think it is because we make it simple. But we make it look like good. Yeah. I mean that's my That's the best way to put it. Everything you eat here in Serbia is pretty simple. Pretty, yeah. well, it looks simple, but it's so rich in flavor. Yes. Like this sausage, if you looked at the sausage, I'm gonna keep calling it a sausage, but <laughs> the shalapi, if you look at this, it doesn't look too appetizing or, or just anything special. But the moment you bite into it and all those flavors hit your tongue, that's when you realize that this is this is next level.